Good day. Yeah, it's a, that's a video. It's a cloudy day outside. So I know we've talked about this before, like cheating to the side. Do you think it's going to go on? I mean, right here, you're a little indecisive on that. Well, I'm going, I always go to the opposite side of whoever's back. Yeah. So, I mean, this is going to take a little bit of practice and like recognition. But instead of doing that, I, I want to just try to just like stay middle. And as soon as the ball hits out, just try to get there as fast as possible. Because, like, if that happens, because you're cheating this way, it can beat there. Which, I mean, that's understandable. But also, like, if you guys are going to race for the boost or something, you're also going to get beat to that. But that's part of the kickoff things, which I gotta figure out what I want to do with that. Okay, turn up the wall, a lot of boost used. Okay, well, he should have tried to hit that more like this way. Or even if he could to our corner. Yeah, good thing you're there. Or I'm there, whatever. It's really hard to tell our cars apart. Mort. Well, maybe if you don't copy my decals, it'll be easier. We don't have the same decal. What decal do you have on? Wait, pause, pause. Look at my car. Titan Wait, is this painted titanium white or is this just a plain one? Plain. Paint it black. Okay, so we are using the same decal, so yours is just a little black. It's a lot black, and it makes my decal look cool. Especially with my uh, exoskeleton. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh, why is he going for that? He wants it. Okay, but I'm already there. We're both already there. Or, well, were. I was. Indeed you were. Yeah. Look at look at that touch. I'm right there for anything. See, like even. Bang! Nice shot. He's gonna turn left. He's he gotta come like back here on these boost pads. Rotate back post. I'm I'm not I'm gonna hit that towards there. Kyle's already there, so I mean, that, that side of the field's all kept. So Jake's gonna rotate out this way. Yeah, that's all that. You get you you get you marked. I'd appreciate it if you didn't stare at the demo and replay it ten times. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I would have had that even if, you know, Jack didn't hit that because now I'm in a terrible spot because he's right there. Okay. So, Jack should have come in center, gave me some support, because obviously you're the last guy back, so you're going to play third. But, I guess he needs that big boost so bad he came over. And now we get a line. So, instead of a triangle, we get a line because of that, which is bad.
He like jacks up here, pops out, he hits that off the wall, comes back out somewhere towards you, or even up, or something. Easy goal. Anyway, he shouldn't have flipped there, he should turn and challenge with it. Apply some pressure. Yeah, because you're not going to win that, because he has full control of the ball back here. You can easily yeah, see no. it coming. Yeah, just forcing the flick. Yeah. So, like right here, if he flips, he should be going across these two booze beds. That way he lands like right there, and then he flicks that, and then you're back here to pick it up somewhere. But instead he flicks, and now Jack's directly in front of him. So now he's got to do a full 180, try and turn around, gain some momentum, and go back at it. Which he did. But now he's not covering any part of the net. Right? Yeah. Ooh. There's no way I'm getting back to that, so... I'm gonna assume that was supposed to be a pass. Uh, I'm, ho uh, I'm hoping that's what that was supposed to be. Which, it's a good idea. You just gotta hit it like over here. Because Jack's gonna grab this and then go up. Or wherever. So, like throwing it that far out is just having, well, now two of you chase it. Willie should have done something better with that, but... Ooh, that's another thing. So there's no way he's gonna hit that, right? In your personal opinion? Mm-hmm. So all this boost he's doing right here, he's just wasting. Trying to go for a shot, and he's not gonna hit. So instead of using all that boost to go there, you can literally just boost down a little, land, maybe pick up that if that's there, turn around, come back, complete the rotation, make your recovery faster. Yeah, because now he's just kind of floating there, in front of that net, in a bad spot. And we might that full time. Slam on your brakes. Yeah, just a miss. Okay, there. Let me see. So yeah, like right there, if you would have had complete faith in me winning that, instead of going all the way back there, you could have just like come around this circle here, playing like a second man. It's a 50 on our side. I'm going back every time. Okay. Plus you have Jack right behind you. And the Jack behind me is not going to help me up here. Nevertheless. But now we're in that kind of line thing again. Well, that should have been a goal. Look from Willie's perspective. Willie's? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, literally any other spot on that. Okay, so Willie's above. Probably coming down like center net, so we either hit that left post, right post, or just slamming at the ground. 
Yeah, I probably would have light shot that. Hit it with my wheels. Yeah, I mean, I would just put it right here. Doesn't have to be hard or anything, it just has to go somewhere around here. Yeah. <laughs> Flip into that next time. Just because, like, if you flip into an E, like, weird pinch off the wall, and let's say that goes center or something, I mean, granted, I'm probably not going to be there. But, like, maybe Jack turns around and can be there, something like that. Just so you're not just taking yourself out of the play there. Mm -hmm. I assume you called that, which is good. Jack's full committing to a bad pass. Oh, that's another thing. If a pass is bad, you don't have to go for it. Because, like, from there, there's, there's no way he's going to score that. So. Also, flip away from it. Okay, well. Anyway, and now I'm stuck in what should have been a 3v1. Okay, yeah. Probably more should have taken that just because he had more momentum. More, dude. I know more. That's a bad touch. Okay, that's what I thought I was going for. Good 50. Not a good 50. So here, yeah, that's a good 50. But then there, like, if you're gonna pop that out, you basically have to flip right after it because of how close he is. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was just like a quarter second too late. Yeah. Okay. We all had faith in your 50 there. So you know so Jack's rotating your ball out again. With that mid boost. Yeah, let's see how he's going more. Okay, we can go back. We're in that corner, I bail out. He's quite a bit slower. But like as soon as that ball is hit, he should be like, oh, that's over me. I'm gonna come back, grab our back boost and control back here. But instead, of, like he turned and then turned forward and then tried going up the wall for it, which way too late to do that. So I was in a bad spot either way. Yeah, instead of my taking my flip front post, I should have cut across like over here, coming like this. So you have to slam on the brakes right there, and then try and read that. So, you would have saved that if I would have came in like that, and, you know, easier read. Just throw away. Rotating near post again. I 
Also, Jake, you don't want to boost down there, so you get to the ground quicker. Is that how you get boost? Go for very big boost, go for mid boost, go for our back boost. Instead of... You hit that, you boost down, you land like right here, you come up around the fish hook, come around this V, come back over here, pick up this boost, come here, your back post with like 90. Or probably 100 because you already have boost. But like right here, you're just not into play, and you're not really going to be any beneficial part to our defense. That's why that is so weird, because like, let's say your back post, check. You hit that right there, and it's out. Don't have to worry about this old scrum. Plus, it's an easy counter, because all you do is worry about more. Very interesting 50. Going for the high block. Yeah, and that's fine. Like honestly, that's what you should be going for right there. Because low block, that's an easy ball for me to get to. Check hasn't picked up a single pad rotating back yet, so really, once you see that ball gets hit there, it should be coming like up here, something like that. In this case, you turn it like this and hit that, and you're not weird on the wall. Good rotation. I'm in a bad spot, you know. Oh. Okay, so we land. Ball's gonna sit over us. Turn right there and rotate back post. These pads are gonna spawn by the time you get there, or you can just come across right here and pick up them. Whatever, something to get out of the play and in a beneficial position. Yeah, because right now you're just kind of driving in the middle of nowhere. Now you're coming for a ball that your teammate's right there for. So, don't do that. Now, we don't, we just lost all of our possession, and we're back to, hey, let's sit in it. The position or base for that, which that's fine. Yeah. Again with the height, you want to try to get as high as possible first. Rough landing. Yeah, you want to make sure you're going for that, you hit that bumper demo. Let's see, what can we have done different? 50 in the air... No. So... Could have done one or two things. First would have been to read that better. Second would have been because you actually have momentum to be turned around right here, Jack. Could have went up here and come across and probably jumped off and hit that if you can read. Again, but still assuming you could read that.
Yeah, do you know if you're going for a shot here? No, I was going for a 50. I, I wasn't looking at remote in his positioning. I just saw his name. So I was just going for a 50. Either way, it's I, a good idea. I did not realize how, like, scuffed he was in his <laughs> positioning. But, like, Jack, first off, you're pre-jumping from all the way, like, back here. Second off, you had a terrible angle to read that and then hit it back up into a beneficial spot. So instead of going for that, don't. And then I'm um, there either way. And then... Yeah. Mort's lost. Dude, Mort doesn't know what happened to him. I had that. I had that at him from Snap. Did not send you your feet picks? No. Yeah, so you see how big of a touch I had there? Huh? I clean pay attention to it. <sighs> Tim's space is already in between me and the ball. Like, they sh if we played a better team, they'll already have a guy up for that. And I'll probably get beat right around there. So, that needs to be a softer touch or I just gotta go up faster. Could a little bit of both. Also, Jack, uh, if you're gonna be this low on the wall, just get off it. It's gonna be way easier for you. And then, like, you're off the wall, you get it, like, right here, at least that, like, top right. Or, you know, maybe top left, but top right is probably your best bet. Ooh. Risky 50, but I'll take it. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, no comms. Okay, now yeah, I mean, check if you're gonna go for that, you gotta get a better hit than that. It's a very interesting touch. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I panicked when I hit it like that. I don't know, because I remember that. Quick play to Jack, though. Yeah. So here's a very situational one. Just because I know Jack's falling from the ceiling, so he's going to take a while to get back up here. <clears throat> so I played more like a twos position. Which then Jack's there. Interesting pop, but... Not gonna lie, I didn't even expect me to like get a hit on that ball. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you probably shouldn't have, but realistically, I shouldn't have. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, should have already been up. Yeah, probably no comms, but like, if he's turning this way, that's gonna be a bad shot for him. Ready, <laughs> ready to hit the shot either, so. And going for a big boost I just picked up. And now I guess I'm the one pressure. Yeah, so like, we don't get a double commit there. Whatever. Jack comes up the wall, you should be flying back, which I think you are. Well, you could be going faster, but... He comes up the wall, he comes out for this, maybe gets a 50, maybe gets a bump, something. Or even off the ceiling, whichever one. Uh, big boost, so. 
think I got that one as well. That big boost backpack? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, because again, with the same concept of going for a big boost, it's not that good. There's no point in doing it. Because you're literally hedging your bets on, hey, I don't know when this got taken, and I don't know when this is going to pop up, but I'm just going to hope it's there. And if it's not, I'm kind of screwed. Instead of these, which you know are there. I didn't. No mind. Is it, I mean, good idea trying to pass out the jack so he can clear it. I mean, it's got to be a little closer to him, but... He's also going to recognize, like, hey, he's probably, you're probably going to pass out to Jack. And Jack's going to bada boom, bada boom, get a shot on that. Probably beat all three of those guys because they're right there. And now it's 2 3. Yeah, so you see how I kind of waited back post in there? Oh, uh, whatever scrum was going on back there, because nobody was rotating around. Mm -hmm. Okay, just something to keep in mind. That was a terrible 50 on my part. Also, Jack, you would really just, instead of coming around and picking up that boost pay, you would just boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I shouldn't have popped that up. I think I jumped too late for that. Oh, we score again. We do? Yeah. Let's go. Look at that. Either you gotta jump sooner, or just try to challenge that and go for demo. Cause yeah, as soon as you see that low touch, you wanna make sure you're low too, or else you're gonna beat. Same thing Kyle likes doing. It's a very interesting touch you did there. Yeah, I'll admit it was. Oh, I just don't think I pressed my button again. <laughs> I was saying, I don't think you flipped. I think you air rolled in that. Yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> and that explains that. Well, hey, now I know I can do that to get a center for us. Yeah. Make sure you hit that demo, Jack. Because then it opens a wide open field for me and Kyle. Anyway, this is a once thing. Oh, shit. No, never mind. Bad touch. Nice ones thing. Thank you. I thought it was a 50 and I just drove under it. Nope, I just had a bad touch. Okay, so right here you should already be turning for this. So I'm doing that big loop. Good thing you pressure that guy and like let's say you get beat. Or like you stay with and you just shadow defend up the wall, or you get beat, you just rotate out on these three boost pads. Uh, let me know a little sooner next time you're back post code. It's like Right in here, let me know, so I can start moving out and getting momentum. Oh, you spooked me on this one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting a second touch. Interesting. Yeah, too short of a turn. 
Okay, you got bump. Where's that going, Kyle? Not towards our net, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Not to me either. Or to you. <laughs> I mean, that one, if you can get that same touch, but like up towards our wall, and then you can follow it up on the wall, that'd be a better play. Yeah. Okay, it's a good thing I got 50. Because, yeah, if I don't get that and he hits set the more as an open net. Yeah, the boys. Did I scare you there, too? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I heard you call for it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I can't believe I even got that in because I was just like, oh god. Good, bro. Trust him. Good. Trust him. Sorry, bro. You gotta go for those passes. I wasn't expecting a bang. I mean, I had that bounce hit. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, it was also kind of at him, so. But, I, I, I take the blame on that. Oh, yeah, I did not know you were there. <laughs> One thing I've never realized is how delayed our comms are. Like... When I say it versus when I watch the stream back and when it comes in for you guys. Yeah. It's actually kind of crazy. I mean, like, right there, you really shouldn't be going for that anyway. Just because. A little percentage shot you got going on. And plus, you know, I'm still there. I should be able to get a touch if I'm on the wall right there. Hey. I do. Oh, that's a bad shot. Because, yeah, like, anytime I'm trying to pass, I'm trying to get it within, like, that area. Basically, those five boost pads make a box. Whatever. Hit it before he hit the ground so he didn't get a power shot. And it's poorly placed either way. So then you put that back post. Probably a goal. Okay, I suck. GC2 check. <laughs> Is that what you meant to do? No, probably not. Okay. Well, so you could have just caught that. Reflated on the wall over there, Jack. You're holding a power slant. Oh my. <laughs> yeah! Aww. It's okay, it was calculated. <laughs> that, that's calculated, alright. <laughs> Did he hit it? No, that was a really terrible spot. Sorry, I went for a gooey shot. Yeah. Gooey shot. Yeah, I should have hit that. So what's going on back? Okay, so he turned the wrong way, Jack. I'm gonna turn right here because ball's coming this way. Ah, big boost. Yes. Which 
big boost over here too. That's why that was weird right there. That's why this is such a delayed challenge, because you were over here, you probably get challenged at even before here. You hit that off the wall, maybe get a pop, maybe get a pinch over, maybe get a shot. Maybe take it slow, pop it over this guy, go up, get a flick, go back to the score, you know, lots of stuff. Yeah, that was a very rough spot I was put in. <laughs> That's it. It's my favorite Zach's, spot. Yeah, Zach's favorite spot. Kyle makes the challenge in the corner. Zach's in this situation. Dodge a demo and then my favorite spot back to back. It's okay, I was front post that time, so it's really no choice I had. Another thing with soft touch is, is you can barely touch the ball and backflip and you get a nice little roll out. Okay, well that's that one. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Ah. Oh, we're going right into the next one. I leave in 30 minutes. Ugh. Do you want to save it for tomorrow? Nah, just do it. I'm gonna go get water. Time. You're recording it for a reason. All right, everyone. Kyle left us. Now we can roast him. Okay, decent kick, huh? Uh. That's a little far out for you to go for, Kyle. You don't have quite enough momentum to get there. So you basically just wasted all your boost. Soft touch there, should punch that, whatever. Wait. So. You really probably shouldn't have been interested there. So we tried to maintain more control. But that's got to get hit right there. You can have those dropping in front for our one guy that's in net still. To clear out, let's see. We're going for back boost, yep. And because of that, you're not there fast enough for that challenge. Yeah, instead of going for that, you can just. One, two, three, four. Pads. I mean, you'd be there right there, and you have a shot at them. Easy goal. Trying for a bump, I don't get it. Wouldn't have mattered because I got what I'm in there anyway. So. Oh, and I'm missing boost pads. Nice. Also, try not to do that. Because honestly, you're just putting it back to them. You want to hit the ball there. You want to try and hit Kyle. So instead of doing that, you want to do like a flick so it comes out more like here. Then Kyle has a free shot. And that guy's got no momentum. So he hit it out here and Kyle hits it. Honestly, anywhere besides like right around where he's at. Especially back post. Should be an easy net. Okay, kind of got bumped. I missed all my boost pads. Good challenge. Boy. So right there, he bear, I mean, Kyle should have caught that. I don't know if he did or not, but 
You should have also realized, like, when you hit that, like, he was going to be up here. So, unless he's not, unless he says he can't, he should be going for that. Should not have went for that. Yeah. He's gonna be way faster going up than you are. That's a really risky challenge I'm doing right now because both of you guys are, are right there, right behind them. And it goes terribly. So it didn't 50 grade. So now everyone's rushing back. Okay. So, I don't know if you got the boost there or not, but you this really should not be your ball to come get. Because you are back post as the last back. Which, you turned around, so that's good. You should be in a position to save everything there. It's all fine. Call off. Uh, try to hit that somewhere beneficial to you. Because that's going too fast for it to bounce off the wall and you get possession. Because you'll have to sort of add here and by that time that guy's already going to be there. So either try to hit it farther over here so it comes back to some, so you're like right there. Or hit it like low on the curve and pop it up over this dude on the wall. And then like you can go for an aerial or something. So you can have a boost. Cut from Kyle. That's a terrible challenge for me. Should have should have checked to see if I had a guy coming, but could have also been comms. Like someone could have told me, like, hey, he's there. Like when he was over here. We're only a minute in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so like right here, someone saw this guy. Because right now we don't have anyone coming across the middle. Now would be when you say, like, he's there, because he would be there. But, yeah, it should have been able to recognize that and get there faster. Did I miss anything big from the first minute? Uh, okay. Uh, it's mostly the same stuff. Yeah. Kind of throwing the ball away there. That's on the wall, right? Yeah. So, Jake jumped into that. But if he's trying to go above that guy, he wants to go a lot higher than that. So, like, he wants the ball to be, like, up here. Because, like, honestly, that guy should have got hit that. You know, like, the more height you have, the more time you have to get there and then do something with it. Keep your possession. I was not expecting the triple tab, so I'm not going to be there for that. And... Since I'm first man, I can make that challenge. Because first man's job is literally just make a challenge which that works out decently now check some dice brace once he picked up the boost Don't do that and heavy angle for that I'm not expecting that hit. Yeah, aww. Trust me, I wish I got a bump there. Yeah. 
for the cat lady thing, just so you know. But yeah, right here, um, there's really two things you can do. You can either try to catch this and carry it over to the corner and then go up the wall, or you can turn around behind it and go up it. Which would mean, like, coming out of here, drift, turn, and you're here. That's a very low percentage. Don't know what's gonna happen play if you try to, like, pinch that or whatever you're trying to do right there. Boy. Well, for starters, your air rolling the wrong way. Oh, I remember this. Was it? Wait, go back. Was this the one where it bounced off the corner? What the? Oh yeah. Now, literally, I don't know why, but in my mind, I literally said, "Oh, free shot," and then I like stuttered right after I said that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened to me, but I just like froze up. Okay, well, air roll right, so air roll left, left stop. Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, that was just blunder. Yeah. Okay, second off, you don't gotta double jump for that. That means literally like five feet off the ground, single jump, air roll to the right, diagonal flip. Bada bing or somewhere bada boom. Honestly, anywhere high you'd probably be fine with. Between the combination of your air rolling the wrong way and your double jump. That's what set that shot. Okay, so right there, Jack should have went up on the wall just to apply pressure. Didn't have to commit to it, just be there to make that thing, because now he's got a whole bunch of free space. And like, I see Jack coming back, that's why I turned towards it. And then I saw him turn again, so now I'm turning around. So we got lucky on that one. Good challenge. I'm seeing the wall. Okay, Jack, if you're trying to turn around, don't ever go up the wall and then come back down it like this. Because there's not one thing you're going to do here that would have helped. Even if you would have got that bump, you would have just ended up hitting them into the hole. So instead of going all the way up there and waste all that boost and rotating ball side, you could have just, when you land over here, turn right. One, two, three, maybe four pads back. And then, like, you're right here right now. About that. Probably over to me. So I got a ton of space. Of course, I landed really bad, but... Does it say pass or a shot, I don't know. 100% a pass. There's no way I was going to go for a shot on that. Okay, try to put that more, like, towards, like, here. Don't put it quite on target, but don't put it, like, in the corner. That makes sense. Yeah. Just so I have a little bit more time to get there, and they have a little more space to get to cover. I mean, good idea overall. And then check, because you're third main, you can't be full committing to this. You gotta be, like, back here. Because if he whiffs, alright, then you can go, because then Kyle should be coming back. 
but like being that close and not touching it, if that's on target, that's an empty net and an easy goal, as long as they hit it with some kind of power. Also, because I remember calling this out during the game, I said take it to the corner, take it to the corner, pick up the big boost, do something in the corner. Don't try to cut this, because more than likely you're going to either get a flick like that, which comes back to the middle, which either me or Kyle should be there. Or you'll just end up doing a really bad 50 that is probably flying up here and then dropping somewhere in front of our goal. So you want to just take that, take it to the corner go for 50 or if nobody challenges you just take it out of the corner and dribble it okay well, that was a bad sequence And my only thought was just put it in the corner. Yeah. Or like you just didn't get maybe, touch on it. Yeah, like pop it up, something would hit the corner and hopefully go along the sidewall. Best could, case yeah. was my hope. You could have double jumped instead of side open. Cause that would have put you back a little farther. And then you probably would have still hit like the bottom of the ball and popped it up somewhere over there. Also, right here, because that's going to be awkward for you. Unless, like, you are 100% sure you can hit that. Jack should be calling for this and going for it. And he should be up, like, right now for that. And hit it, like, right there. Probably, like, right here in the lower part of this corner. So it pops up along this wall this way. Or if he just gets, like, a bang out over here. One or the other. Anything so it doesn't come down to me trying to read the wall and then do a 50 at the same time. But yeah, like if Jack calls for that, then you, instead of going up the wall, you just rotate out. That's gotta be hit. It's now oh, I'm in a really bad spot. Yeah, I did not know what you were doing right here. I was hoping for another demo. Because I figured you were just going to go for the ball. I just didn't realize he spawned behind me. Well, I should be going to go right there. So it should be 2-1 right now. At least. Right. Uh, Jack, if you're going to hit that, first off, you don't want to hit this side. You want to hit just the lower part of the ball, like right here. Or even like right here, something so it gets like up here and over here. Basically anything that does not put it here to the ground. Like that. And then if Kyle is not flying back cut rotation, that's a goal. And now we're chasing it back down the field. Okay, I get... Okay, so I bumped him into it. Okay. Well, 
I guess I should have had a better bump there. But yeah, someone's gotta be challenging that, like right there. So he doesn't get so I mean it way lays better. He gets a free shot right there. So someone's gotta challenge that way. There you call Jack off and Jack rotates out or Jack goes for that. Probably, probably Jack should be going for that because you're last back. Let's over him. Yeah, it's just gotta be a better touch. But again, that happened because we had no one challenging up here. So yeah, honestly, right there, like, because of the way it's coming in, if you could have, you could have put, place it over here. Which, I don't know, mechanically, you could have done that or not. But that would have been a better clear. But honestly, you just need to get more height on it. Yeah, because Jack kind of really liked the challenge up. Yeah, so like he had the touch, you just didn't have, I don't think he had any boost to boost into it. Which is why that's really light. Mm hmm. Free play shouldn't have happened. So we're gonna look at this. Another side flip. Somehow bump check into that. I missed a bump. Okay. Oh, checks in a really bad spot. I should have had a bump there. Buy you a little more time to get there. And now Jackson. I mean, first off, this guy should be hit that if he's going for it. So. And if he is, Jack really shouldn't be on the wall. Because this can be a really hard save unless, like, it's right here. Other than that, pretty much being on the ground would be the easiest save. But, you know, whatever he's comfortable with. Uh, I remember this part. Yeah. ECA announcement. So I mean, granted, I'm coming in my ball side. Which I'm gonna have to cut this short. Then Jack cuts rotation right there because he should have been rotating around. first touch to 50 oh we check on let's see you're there so he should be sitting like back here in which case you would have been able to go up for that and probably get that Everyone's rushing back now. Uh, you just pre-jumped that, I'm guessing because you thought he was going to get another touch, right? Yeah. yeah. I think I was also a really low boost right here. Probably. I mean, you've only used, like, eight. To throw away. And I got stuck in a really bad spot. Yeah, I like that one. Pop it up. I should be able to not hit it, or at least hit it somewhere beneficial. No, oh, yeah, it's a tough save for you. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like, there's no way I could have hit that with power. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Maybe if you did like you timed your flip perfectly, you got to like roll out this way. But either way, it was probably <laughs> that's be... asking for a much. <laughs> either way, it was probably gonna be a goal. Okay. 
Let's see, can you get set? Oh, that should be a goal. Okay. Uh, you get too close to your shadow defense. You can pass. Good shot. Oh, what a play. What a play. One in the books. I'm willing to bet the rest of the game's pretty much everything that's already happened. Right. More than likely. Yeah, so. I'll end it here because I need to go soon.